are going to be etching glass. We are going to be using a wine glass to etch. It will look something like this. Not sure if you can see it. And also we will be applying at the end, we will be applying rhinestones to kind of bling out our wine glass. We will be creating a stencil first using Cricut Design Space and printing it out on vinyl, removable vinyl on our Cricut machine. What you're going to need today is a wine glass. We're going to need etching cream and the etching cream is an acid. So you want to make sure that you're handling this very carefully and you don't want it to get on any of your surfaces or your skin. You will need a pair of gloves to uh, apply the etching cream. You will also need either a paintbrush or a sponge to apply it. Other things that you may need will be measuring tape and painter's tape just to make sure you can keep all the etching cream in place and so that you know what size glass or what size space you're using. And for the very end, you will need rhinestones and you will need gym tag to apply them, okay? So we are about to get started. All right, guys, so you're going to grab your measuring tape or a ruler if you don't have measuring tape and you're going to measure where you want your uh, stencil to be placed in order to etch. So try to find the space maybe like, that's that's nicely proportioned. You don't want anything too far down because then it will be a little difficult to apply the stencil. But um, remember you're dealing with a round object. So you wanna make sure that you get uh, a part of the glass that's not um, too round and kind of proportioned well. So not too far up and not too far down, okay? After we measure our glass, what you're going to wanna do is clean your glass with alcohol, okay? Um, this will make sure that everything can stick appropriately and you have a clean surface to work on, all right? Okay, so I've already measured my wine glass and I want about a three inch by two inch space to be etched on the wine glass. So I'm gonna go here to shapes and create a square. What we're going to do next, we're going to, even though we know we want a three by two and we can kind of measure it while we're inside of Cricut Design Space with the guidelines, we still wanna make the square a little bit larger than what we are going to place because we wanna have a, a nice border around what we're etching just to avoid the etching cream getting all over the place. So I wanna make it a three by two, but we're going to make this, you can make it a little bit larger than what you actually wanna make it, okay? Next, I, I know what I wanted to say. I wanted to say her, Wineness. And so what we're going to do is we are going to input an image first because I want a tiara. So we're going to resize the tiara and remember to use, I know a three by two, so I'm like about right here of the space inside of my, my etching, my stencil box. So we're going to put our tiara in and then what we're going to do is we're going to create our text. So I'll have her, I want her on one line. And then the next line, I want wineness. Okay, and we are going to change the text. So your text can be whatever you want it to be. I'm going to go into my system and Let's find a nice cursive text that I like. I have that one. Um, let's see. Okay, so I found the text that I want and I'm just going to put it together here in Cricut. To do that, you ungroup, 
and then you Okay, once that is done, you are going to hold it together. Oh, it's too close. Okay, so I have everything how I pretty much want it to be. And so what we're going to do now is we are going to slice um, slice out our stencil. So you click on to your whichever items. Remember, you can only slice two things at a time. Looks good. So then we can just delete everything. And this is going to be our stencil. Okay. So we are going to go ahead and print this out on our Cricut. And we'll be ready to apply it. Alright guys, so we are about to make it on the Cricut machine. So you cut it out regularly, no need to mirror or anything like that. Um, we're just making a stencil, okay? So once we print this out, we will be ready to read it. Okay, so we're done printing out our stencil. Not sure if you can see it good. So what we're going to do, it's different from how we typically read what you're going to do is you are just going to weed what you would normally weave on. So you want to weed out all of the lettering and any other artwork that you may have on your, on your vinyl. Okay, just be a little bit careful because I did thinner letters, so it's a little bit more fine. So I'm just going to take my time and weed this, and once I'm done, we will get ready to apply our etching cream. Okay, so that didn't take as long as I thought, and everything is completely weeded out. Um, what you want to do is make sure you have a piece of transfer tape so that you can transfer this over to your wine glass, okay? So now it's on to our... Um, transfer tape so all we are going to do is transfer this over it usually works better for me if I place the glass down to kind of make it a little steady and then I have these little grooves in the dust that kind of helps me to keep it that way you want to kind of make sure you have it where you intend it for it to be and don't be thrown off by the extra space that you put around it and you curve it And then be very careful with this because you don't want anything to get underneath because if the etching cream gets underneath, it will run under your vinyl. So you may not want to place it all the way down at first because that will help you kind of adjust it accordingly, okay?
don't throw away your transfer tape. You can use it for something else. So, you see how it is now? There's a little bit of space here. It's a little bit, it's not perfect because I probably was a little bit ambitious in getting it maybe two it's probably so maybe a little bit too big so this is why you want to make sure you size it correctly so that you don't have to do too much adjusting but if you do it's fine so i'm just going to adjust it you can kind of pull it around so that it sticks okay and so once i'm done adjusting this we will be ready to take it into the kitchen and etch it all right, so as you see, I've already applied the painter's tape to the wine glass to avoid any of the etching cream getting on the outsides or above or under where we applied our stencil. Um, also, make sure that you have around the edges of the lettering, make sure that you have applied it well so that there can be no possible leakage that goes underneath the stencil because you don't want that to mess up your um, etching okay even these little parts where there may be a little bit of creases I was just too lazy to take it off and try to apply it better um, and I'm just hoping and praying for the best okay so but if you are doing this just make sure that it is pretty sealed, okay? Now we're going to get ready to apply our etching cream. And you can just take it, and you don't want it to go under, so you can kind of just dab it so you don't really brush it. Because if you're brushing the stents, the bristles from the brush, can go underneath and you don't want that so I just nicely pat it on it doesn't really matter how much once you apply some on you don't have to glob it on um, just a nice coat is sufficient All right, so our wine glass has been sitting for about three to five minutes, probably a little bit longer because I had to wash the dishes, but <laughs> our wine glass sat for a few minutes and now we're ready to wash it with water. Make sure you keep your gloves on because this acid, you don't want it to touch your skin. So we are going to turn the water on. It can be a nice room temperature water and we are just going to let it run over it a little bit and then we can kind of help it along and wipe it off. Okay, you just keep wiping. You want to make sure that it's all off. So now that we've cleaned off our wine glass and removed all the etching cream, we can now just peel off the stencil along with this extra tape. I always keep my gloves on doing this because I just don't know, especially if it seeps underneath. Right, guys, it's 
gonna darken up a little bit. Not sure if you guys can actually see that in this lighting, but that's how it will look. Okay. All right, y'all. So our wine glass is etched. And what we're going to do next is we are going to add a little razzle dazzle to the bottom of our glass. And to do that, you are going to need Gym Tech, a wax stick, and your rhinestones, okay? Just like the top part of our glass, we needed to make sure that we cleaned it with alcohol. You want to do the same thing with the bottom as well. So to help me apply this, I transferred some of the Gym Tac to this bottle. Um, it has almost like a needle tip. And it's going to help me to place the rhinestones on the glass. So I'm going to show you how I do this. And so I usually start at the outer rim and go around and then do like a honeycomb um, placement of the rhinestones. I place them in between as I go, okay? You don't have to worry about the gym tack coming off. This stuff is pretty legit. It's permanent and it does not come off easily, okay? You can wash this glass. And so by honeycomb, what I mean, I just wanted to get a few down so I could show you. So in between the two is where that next rhinestone on the second row will go. Right there. So that's how you'll place it and that's how you'll continue to place them as you go along, okay? All right guys, so I finished putting all of the rhinestones on our glass and we're done with our glass. We have our little rhinestones and I'm just going to let this dry and gift it to somebody. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Duh. Thank you for watching.